you saw there, this mom lost her daughter, 21-year-old nursing student. Now she's outside the courthouse and she's got a deal with the alleged killer's family and, and they're confronting her? That's utterly ridiculous, obviously, and I can understand the feeling of wanting to get vengeance. Um, but also, we got to keep in mind that we do have to let our justice system, you know, battle this out for us. And in the end, God will sort it all out and take care of everybody that needs to be taken care of. Heidi, you had the unique opportunity at sentencing to confront your attacker and let him know what he did, what you think about it, and how you turned it around on him and made him quiver inside the courtroom. Um, I'm interested in your thoughts and in what we've witnessed here outside of this courthouse. Um, this mother lost her daughter, and now the killer's, the alleged killer's family getting into a confrontation with her as she's leaving the courthouse, a courthouse where she has to sit and, and see her daughter's alleged killer. It, it causes me a lot of anxiety just watching that. I could only imagine what that poor lady is feeling she's already lost her daughter now she has to handle the stress of seeing the other family and you know I wish so much that knowing the uh, circumstances what they are that the police officers you know would have maybe escorted her protected her a little bit knowing that all parties were present um, the person who picked up the tripod she should have some, some charges against her because she verbally assaulted a lady that is just there hoping to put away the person that allegedly killed her daughter. So the you know, whole thing Heidi, is, there's something is you said horrible. I think it made a lot of sense here. And, and this is looking at our system of justice is to um, have that escort. You know, I was out at the Michael Jackson trial and I saw these police escorts, you know, doing backflips. And they did the right thing. They kept control but they're escorting the Jackson family in and out of court every month. We need to do that in all our courthouses for all our victims. You know, yes, I mean, my absolutely. goodness, I think that is, is, is one of the lessons here. Fran Sherman, here's probably, from my perspective, the most shocking part of this, okay? Mm -hmm. the, and he's an alleged killer, okay? I wasn't there. I don't know if he did it or not. I don't know if I have the right guy. But his family knows what this mother has gone through. His family knows that this mother has to bury her beautiful 21-year-old daughter, her 21-year-old daughter who did nothing wrong, her 21-year-old daughter who had this incredibly bright future ahead of her. They know what she has gone through, yet they show no empathy towards her. They, I, I don't understand that, how you could even raise your voice to someone in that position. You know, it, Vinny, it's, it's awful, and it's really impossible to sort of wrap your mind around, but I think a lot of our society has become so incredibly egocentric that it's all about me, and they really don't care about this woman's pain, and this woman obviously has lost what is most precious to all of us, our children, and it's beyond traumatic, and, and they're only thinking about the possibility that their family member may go to jail. They